So great catching up with my next guest, Johnny Walker, who is going to be fighting Paul Craig at UFC 283 coming up here January 21st. Johnny, how are you, man? I'm doing really good, my friend. How are you doing? Ready for uh, Christmas. Uh, you bet. I got my Christmas sweater on. I'm feeling good. Uh, you just finished your Christmas shopping. I was seeing all the, the gifts in the back. Are you all caught up on Christmas shopping? Yes, I bought everything that I need and now I'm done. I was just stuck on traffic now. I have to stuck this because I'm doing an interview right now here for you on the car because the traffic is crazy. Thank you for doing this. Obviously, uh, during during uh, traffic right now, that that's awesome. Um, before we get into your fight, I know you recently got married. How did the wedding go? Ah, uh, so amazing. Yeah, everything's perfect. I married with a princess in a castle in Ireland. I come from Brazil. No, I'm a jungle boy, and look what I am now, and look what I'm gonna go soon. I took two days to recover from the wedding, and I didn't drink. I don't drink because I'm camp, you know. Just dancing so much, I probably dehydrated three kilos dancing and having fun. No, it was an amazing day. That's awesome. What, what other uh, fighters attended the wedding? Were there any others? That any of your teammates went yeah. to the wedding? Yeah, yeah 100%. Uh, Carl Moore is a fighter yeah. on Bella. He's light heavyweight as well. And, um, Gustavo, he's a black belt that helped me on Jiu Jitsu. And Will, Will Fleury as well was there. So my, my big partners. It was really fun. That's awesome. That sounds great. Um, really fun fight here at UFC 283 fighting Paul Craig. I know Craig recently signed with your management group. Was it a fairly easy negotiation to get to get the fight? Yeah, hundred percent. It's, it's just same management, and and there's not nothing to deal against each other. You know, just it's business. We're gonna fight and move on. That's it. Yeah, that's great. And uh, you're coming off a big win in your last fight over Ion Kutalaba. Uh, a submission win. We haven't seen you get a submission victory in the UFC. How nice was that? Pretty good fight for me. I find it uh, easier doing a submission because I have good jiu-jitsu, but I just never going to never use it because I like to strike, you know? Mm -hmm. So now that I'm a major, I find myself to use more all of my skills that I have because now what's matter is winning. So we're going to win on the floor, or striking. You know, I, I want to finish the fight. So I'm going to use all of my toes to finish any fights from yeah. now. Um, I think anyone looking at this fight would say striker versus grappler. How do you look at this fight from a style perspective? No, like that. I'm going to fight MMA. Whatever he, he gives to me, I can get an arm, a triangle, or Kiyomura, or heel hooks, whatever he gives to me, you know, as well. If he if he don't pay attention to what he's doing, I can coach him as well on jiu-jitsu, you know. It's going to be like a, a MMA fight against jiu-jitsu. So let's see who is best. Because I'm going to fight MMA. And, and I was going to say, you've only been submitted one time in your entire career. Uh, Paul Craig, that's normally how he wins. Just how confident are you going into this fight knowing that you've got pretty good submission defense? I'm very confident because I know he's a good attackant because he's attack everybody. I don't know how he works in, on pressure, like when he's getting attacked by jiu-jitsu, by submissions, you know. So he's really good. He's good in attacking people. And what about his defending jiu-jitsu? Yeah. yeah, we haven't really seen it. Yeah. Let's see if he's good defending because I can defend and attack. Jiu Jitsu and. and. And in camp, do you work more on your on your submission defense in this camp or you just train like it's any other opponent? Like, uh, tell me about your training a bit. Oh, of course. Every, every camp in training, we train for the next opponent. Like, I'm doing a lot of escape from Jiu Jitsu, like triangles, arm locks, heel hooks. And and a lot of Western out because to work your jiu-jitsu, you need to take me down. So it's going to be really hard to take me down. I'm doing a lot of Western as well. So I'm good to take people down and defend the takedowns as well. So I'm improving all of my game. Every every company training, of course, I focus on the next fight, but I focus on myself as well to improve myself, to get every fight. I want to fight different, fight better, show different games. So people, I was going to be worried about the fight. And, and who have you mainly been working with this camp that are helping you get ready for this fight? Uh, with John Kavanaugh, my, my head coach, right? And he put like Carl Moore and uh, Will Fleury. He did just very strong guys, you know, and uh, high level guys. They they really give me a lot of trouble on the training, but I'm I'm working so good uh, on this defense that I'm getting way better you now. And and but they they try to put me in a uh, a hard position, no difficult position. But I was trying to get out. Uh, like I'm getting really confident on, on my defense. And also, Rafael Xavier is gonna fight next weekend on yeah. Octagon. He's my friend. He's Brazilian as well. He was here this last week, and probably he's gonna come back next year as well to help on the end of my my company. And 
that's it, my friends. You just need to, to train hard every day. A few people that can work with you and you can trust and keep doing. That's great. And um, we've got Christmas coming up, like we just talked about there. How's the weight cut going? Do you get to enjoy Christmas a bit or do you have to eat clean during the Christmas uh, break? Enjoy. I, I, I eat clean the whole year. I'm, I'm an athlete and a, I'm a fighter, three, six, five, you know. Every day I'm a fighter. So I always, I like to eat clean. I, I like to eat uh, healthy. So mm -hmm. it's not hard to cut my weight because I, my, my, my body density is always low fat and high muscle mass. So it's easy to cut. I'm, of course, I'm on diet already and I'm, in, I'm good. I come back from Thailand for 115 kilo. I was doing a lot of weight and eat without measuring my, my calories, right? And then now I'm, today, after the training, I was 106. Nice. And two days before, I was 104. So I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be a big issue doing my weight. So I'm going to enjoy a little bit Christmas. Good. That's great to hear, man. And uh, I'm sure John Cavanaugh will be in your corner. Who else will be in the cage with you that night? Uh, my boxing coach, striking coach, his name is Becky Collins. His, his brother is a, was a world champion. Uh, so he's improving a lot of my boxing defense and my striking. And I'm not sure the third corner will be yet, but I'm deciding. I'm not sure yet. That's good. And how early are you going to get to Brazil uh, for the fight? Are you going to get like a week, uh, week before? Yeah, 10 days before to adapt mm -hmm. because it's going to be warm in Brazil. I adapt really quickly because I always fly different place you know and i just like to go like 10 days early just do some little bit train as well get tired there feel the car you know feel the, the my my lung adapting for the new weather so it's always good to fly to be early and that's it and how do you see the fight playing out on january 21st yeah i'm, I'm gonna start being aggressive you know but of course i'll be careful with takedowns and I'm going to start hurting him, but like put my punch to make him feel like every punch that I'm going to land, I want to make him regret to be in the octagon with me. So yeah. when it start feel this pressure, when he starts to feel this pressure, he's probably going to make some mistakes and what I'm going to coach him. I'm going to let the, the fight the half runs. I'm going to go for the finish. I'm going to choke him out or I'm going to knock him out. Yeah, no, we're looking forward to it, man. It's going to be great. And there's a lot going on in your division right now. Of course, you, there's a new main event on your card, Jamal Hill and Glover Teixeira fighting for the vacant title. How surprised were you that the UFC put that fight together? No surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I know if, if I have won my last two fights, could be me on the title shot, you know? Yeah. So, oh, it's still, my dream's still here, you know? And I'm going to keep moving forward on the division, going up climbing on the rankings, you know, because as Jamal beat me and Thiago Santos, you know, he getting climbed back there on the rank and then he gave opportunity. So I know I'm a exciting fighting when I beat these guys and when I deserve, I'm going to get the title shot as well. So I just have to keep working hard and when I get what I deserve soon. And who do you think wins in that main event? Do you think Jamal can do it or do you think Glover with the experience will, will get the win in the main event? It's a hard to think about it now because Glover is very very tough fighter very experienced Jamal's young and quickly but Glover is very mature fighter you know he's a lot of experience uh, I'm sharing for Glover you know but if Jamal get as well it's it's not much I, even even though whatever wins one day I have to fight uh, one guy when I get there you know so uh, both guys deserve to be there you know and it's gonna be a really fun fight it's gonna be a really good uh, uh, champion to be watching, you know. In UFC. Well, they have the betting odds for the fight. Jamal's actually the favorite. Does that surprise you at all, considering what Glover's done uh, in his career? I don't know because Glover make a really tough fight against Jiri Prohaska, right? Even mm -hmm. the different age, like he give him a really tough fight. But you can see he's a little bit slow against Jiri, but he's more accuracy and more, you know, technical superior. But you can see it's not the, not the speed in, in the the young make the difference on on the fight. You know the experience the majors are make. So I have no idea how to score how how gonna put the favor on this fight. But for me, I still get the Glover. You know I think Glover have more chance than Jamal. 
Okay, there you go. Um, and then obviously Yuri was the champion. Uh, he injured his shoulder and he vacated the title. Were you surprised by that? Just because uh, we haven't really seen a champion vacate their own title before uh, like that. Not recently anyways. Yeah, he's very honorable man, you know, and I think he did right. He could, he didn't hold the division, let the division go away. And when he come back, he, he, he should deserve to be on the top fight. So he's going to get the belt back or the, the title shot as well again you know, when he's ready to fight. I don't think he's going to have to fight again to get the title shot. I think he, when he come back, he's going to get the title shot straight away. So mm-hmm. I think he did a smart move, you know, let the division move away while he's recovering. Yeah, no, no, very well said. And just last thing on Yuri, um, I'm sure you've heard that he's been tested like I think 25 times by USADA and, and all this crazy stuff. Uh, ben Askren says that he should sue USADA for testing him so much. What do you think of that? 65 times. Yeah. A lot. It's too much. I, I don't know what's happened with when USADA going to to guys like this. Like Because when I was winning, I have three fights straight away, right? In, mm-hmm. in the beginning of my career. Uzada was testing me every week as well. And I was clean, you know, and it's just because I was training hard and just because we get success and you start beating people, they think you're taking something, you know? It's not mm-hmm. everybody. I think most of the UFC fighters are really clean, you know, and it's just the talent you, the guy have, just their hard work he's put, you know? Yeah. But what can I say? Uh, I think Uzada's doing good uh, to keep the spot clean and I support them, but six, five times last year is too much. Man. Yeah, I'm with you there. Okay, two other fights I wanted to ask you about. We've got that really cool lightweight fight coming up between Islam Mahashev and Alex Volkanovsky. I was curious how you think that fight plays out with Volkanovsky moving up to fight Islam. I think Volkanovsky is going to be champ, champ. He's come yeah? very, He's number one pound for pound, you know, and I think he have more chance to finish. But, you know, Makashev shows that his strength, he beats Charles and uh, he's really strong, Wesley, and he have a good ground game. So it's going to be a really fun fight to watch, you know. Yeah. But I still picking Volkanovsk. Were you surprised that Islam defeated Charles Oliveira? I was surprised because was not... He showed that a little bit easy, you know. Like, I think he's going to be like a little bit more tough. If you're going to win the fight, he needs bleeding to get the win, you know. But mm-hmm. I thought it was... I was really surprised because he showed like... He was in really good level now, and he beat Thiago like Thiago. Charles is like uh, easy, you know. Yeah, no, it was, it was a great fight. And uh, just one more fight I wanted to ask you about. It looks like it's going to happen eventually, but Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira, the rematch in the cage, uh, who do you see winning that? Do you think Izzy can get it done? Because he was about a decision away from winning that. Yeah. Uh, it's a really tough fight, you know, because Pereira, he got cracked on the first round, you know, mm-hmm. and Adesana almost finished the fight and it was a really tough fight. Adesana was winning. I probably going to win him by points, you know, but he just finished the fight. Pereira just finished the fight. So it's going to be a hard fight back now because both know each other for a long time, you know, and and they gonna they don't want to take the risk, but they want to finish the fight as well. So. It's going to be a, a tough fight for both. I have no idea what's going to happen next. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really tough. Uh, back to you. Um, we talked about the fight off the top about well, with Paul Craig. Where does a win put you? Because if you get another finish here, that's got to skyrocket you up the rankings, Johnny, I would imagine, just because Paul, uh, Paul Craig's got some good wins. He's beat Mega Medic alive, and he's beat Jamal Hill, right? Yeah, 100%. So it's going to be a really good win for me, but I'm not in a rush. But hopefully I can fight maybe three times next year. Mm-hmm. You know, starting January is, is a really good position for me. I'm beating Paul Gregg and I'm going to go slowly in the rank and see what's going to be next for me. And hopefully I can get one or two positions. But whatever, I'm not in a rush, you know. I, I'm planning my career now very, very restrict. And hopefully I can get a title shot in 2024. I like the planning there. That's great. Uh, someone that used to fight in your division, John Jones. We still haven't seen him back yet. Do you think John fights again? The longer this goes, it's getting a bit worrisome, right? Yeah, hopefully he can fight soon because as far as you get from the octagon, like a real fight, you get, you're losing time, you know, time, time, I mean, fight time, the precision, even if you train hard, do a good sparring, 
it's not the same when you fight. You actually fight against the guy that have the same level, the same goal, the same hunger than you, you know? And if you stay for too long, like him right now, it's getting tougher when he's come back. He's going to feel the pressure, you know? Like, I like to, this time for me, that, that I'm coming back now, uh, in January, it's not so far from my last fight. And I want to keep fighting because when you keep fighting, like, don't get too time too much time off you get timer timing in fighting you know mm -hmm. and you hype you get excited you get more comfortable and confident so this make you a better fighter you know and yeah. i think John taking too long he have to come back as quick as, as he can because as long as he's get away from fighting he's gonna be tough and harder when he come back you know yeah i agree activity is important um We've had some bad judging recently. I don't know if you saw the Patty Pimblet Jared Gordon fight. Uh, the, the judging's been, uh, you know, sort of under the microscope right now. As a fighter, what do you think we can do, do to improve judging right now? Don't let the the, the fight to the, to the halfway range. Finish the fucking fight. Knock him out or choke him out. Finish. There is no deal. You can if you don't want to deal with the halfway, finish the fucking fight. You know, whatever they decided for you, have to accept. You let on them hand. You mm. could finish. If you couldn't finish, accept the result. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are your plans for the Christmas holidays? Uh, what, what, are you, what are you getting up to? Uh, I'm going to spend here in Ireland, you know, with my fiance and with my coach. And that's it. I'm in camp, you know, and have focus, I'm very focused on my fighting. I, as I told you, on my wedding, I didn't drink. I, you know, I'm, I was in diet I, as well. I eat a little bit, but just one day, you know. Mm. And it's, it's a fight life commitment. And it's going to be just... One more Christmas, you know. I have yeah. more important things coming ahead for me. Yes. Christmas will happen here, no? Any more uh, dancing videos on your Instagram? I saw you dancing to Rihanna. Yeah, uh, probably. I like to dance. I like to create content, you know. I like to show people that follow me my happiness, my, my fun stuff. Like, I like to I like to produce things. I like to make people smile. I like to people see that ah, this is funny. To motivate people, you know. And should they do something to them life as well like if you can go dance you can go train you can go read a fucking book or whatever you want to do you know just produce something for your life so i like to produce some fun content for, for my for my followers and your wife likes it too like what your, your wife likes your dancing i saw the one of you two in the kitchen uh, she she uh, likes it she like she's very shy you know she, she's <laughs> the opposite of me but yeah she loves she love it 100 <laughs> percent. where did you learn how to dance uh, I think I was like 17 in Brazil and uh, I did like three years of dance class. Okay. After that, you know, and enjoy. Who are some of your inspirations? Like, you know, some people like Michael Jackson or they like, you know, yeah. other people. Who who really inspired you? When I was growing up, when I was very young, I wa loved watching Michael Jackson. He he creates some moves that people use to today, you know, like uh, the, mm. the, the big boys guys and... The, the big dancers, they still using Michael Jackson moves from today. You know, he, he was really good. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, Johnny, thanks for doing this, especially in traffic. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors or any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Ah, just thank you, everybody that supports me and sharing for me for my next fight. I'm put the hard work in. And if you guys want to follow me on my social media, everything is at uh, Johnny Walker. And Merry Christmas. <laughs>